Hey love, so today we are going to do a Shop Miss A AOA Studio makeup tutorial. So all their makeup products are like a buck. Some things like this little sponge is $1.55, but that's because it's part of the Paw Paw charity, which goes to animals in need. So of course I am more than willing to pay that extra 55 cents. Are some brush sets that are a little more and stuff like this palette is $10, but when you break it down, each part of the palette is only a dollar. Um, so we're just gonna jump in. I've already done actual hauls and this stuff, so if you want more details, more swatches, more pictures, I will link those down below. All of these items are from my last two Shop Miss A hauls. All right, so we're gonna get into it. Before we do, please subscribe if you have not already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on my channel. Okay, let's get into it. Priming. This is the primer that I picked up, the Wonder Skin Primer. It's got like little gold flecks in there. I don't know if you can see that, which is pretty cool. It's the Perfecting Blur Primer. Again, a dollar. A dollar. I feel like honestly on that site, the AOA products, which are the products that are made by Shop Miss A, I believe, are honestly the ones that I've gotten the best results from. So I've just put a little blob on the back of my hand. It's super dark out today and I usually rely on some sort of Natural sunlight. It doesn't smell like much, which I appreciate. It doesn't feel silicone-y or anything. I mean, it feels a little tacky now, but not like super smooth silicone-y, you know what I'm saying? All right, so we're gonna hop right into the BB cream. I'm really excited for this. So this is the AOA Perfect BB cream. I have mine in fair. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be light enough for my skin. I think we're gonna be good. It looks pretty good. That's what we're looking at. I'm just dotting this on my face. AOA the blender, so soft. $1.55 for this guy. So I'm probably gonna need quite a bit of product, I think, especially using a sponge, um, cause I feel like that just did nothing. Kinda smells like cheap makeup, but I mean, it's a dollar, so. <laughs> oh, it's turning a little bit orangey. There we go. Getting some a little bit of coverage now. At least a tint. It definitely is oxidizing. Ooh. Girl. And really I hope so. It's the finish though. Look at that finish. Ooh. The finish is beautiful. I feel like this is definitely gonna be something for a no makeup makeup day. I'm gonna blend it down my neck because even though I feel like it looks okay on the monitor, then I can definitely see a line of demarcation. I feel like I'm using a lot of product, but it's building well. So let's see, I think we should chat while we're getting ready. A lot of you guys have been asking how school's going. I am fully back into school, which is good. Well, I say back into school. I mean, I have been to college before. I have a bachelor's degree in apparel design. And before I did that, I just kept going to school because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Apparently I'm indecisive. Hopefully we got it right this time. <laughs> yeah, so I'm back in school for aesthetics. So I'm learning to do facials and waxing and all things that are kind of about the skin and beauty. There is like a makeup section and stuff too that we'll be working on, lash tinting, all this fun stuff. I'm really excited. And I'm also really relieved because everyone has been really nice so far. Um, and that really excites me because I always get I always get nervous in new social situations um, and so many have been so supportive and hello to any of you if you're watching this because a lot of them have subscribed to my YouTube channel which just meant, means the world to me and they're just very supportive and like it's a really good group of ladies which is ladies, girls, women. <laughs> um, they're just really supportive and it just it feels good and I really like my instructor so I'm really happy school's going really well. All right let's move on to concealer. We're gonna see how this goes. I have two different concealers. I assume one is in, what are you in, like porcelain. So I have the porcelain and the white concealer. So we are gonna try these guys out. Um, if you were super fair like me, a white concealer could come in really handy. Oh, it's kind of orangey, look at that. Okay, we're gonna have to mix them. So we'll see how it goes. You don't get a lot on this little wand, so you will be dipping back in unless you like barely any concealer. But if you're like me, I don't think I've ever had to dip in three times for a but again, I can't even really complain because it's a dollar. Oh no, I should have primed my lids first. Okay, we're gonna put this on and then we're gonna use the eyeshadow primer. Cause I like to use primer and concealer on my lid. Perfect eyeshadow primer. Just gotta pop this guy open. Hopefully this concealer doesn't set really fast cause I'm wearing in trouble, girl. And I always use the Urban Decay anti-aging primer as like my go-to right now. 
so I'm always excited to find a new primer and this is like what a 24th of the price so hopefully it's good so now we're just gonna take the sponge and blend that out oh that kind of set oops didn't work fast enough it isn't blending as well as I would like it to but the coverage looks really pretty nice. Oh, okay, we lost sound for a minute. Sorry about that, you're crazy. Okay, so this is the brow pencil that we are going to use. This is the sculpting, sculpting brow pencil in taupe. It's got a spoolie on one side and kind of a teardrop shape pencil on the other. Okay, now we have, this is the Go Brow. I heard pretty good things about this. I have mine in taupe. Got a nice tiny little wand. You get a lot of product on your brow, so I would be careful. Probably gonna have to clean up a little bit after this. I really wanted to use one of these little liquid highlights. I probably shouldn't have set my under eyes before I did this, but we're just gonna go with it. We'll see what happens. I've already got kind of a cake face going anyway. I'm gonna use the white one, which has got kind of an iridescent shift to it, kind of a blue shift. I think I'm just gonna use my fingertip. Tap that in. Ooh, it's pretty though. I'm gonna tap out. Let's use that as a base highlight. Ooh, that's pretty though. Look at that. Um, I'm gonna try a blush really quick. This is the Lumi blush. What is this in? Ravish. This looks really, really pretty. I'm excited. I've actually got this little brush set too that I forgot about from AOA. So we're gonna use a couple of these. Take this F24 blush a brush. Ooh, this is a pigmented blush though. Look there, girl. We're gonna contour a little bit with the chestnut face powder. There were comments saying that this was a really great contour powder. I just wanna set that cream contour. I'm doing things all out of order today. I'm sorry guys. My brain is not here today. This is Blissful. It's one of their new halo highlighters. And then this is my favorite highlighting brush right now. This is the, again, AOA Studio F19. And I'm gonna try it dry, and then I'm definitely going to probably use it wet as, oh, maybe I don't even need to between those two. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, this is a win. I'm just gonna wet this brush a little bit, just because I'm insane. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Woo! I'm sorry that I can't ever just wear a highlight like a normal person. Okay, now let's do eyeshadow. I'm so excited to put some shadow on my face. Today we're gonna use the Love Child palette. This guy is $10. You get nine shadows and this palette that comes with the mirror, which I feel like is such a crazy good deal. These shades, look at these eyeshadows. That one in the middle, those two, these two, oh my god. Oh, ooh. ooh, this palette just speaks to me. I had also grabbed this guy in my second to last haul because this one, there weren't any of these palettes in stock. So I grabbed some of this, this quad right here was a dollar, a dollar. So I'm just gonna take the white shade on the brow. Hoping this will blend some of that concealer marks that I have. I'm really liking most of the cheek products so far. I'm just gonna cover my whole lid in this shade. I think I'm gonna go right in with this little peachy shade. I know that these have shade names, but they're on the back of the pan. Um, so you could mix and match, but you do have to buy this palette whole as far as I know. Or I think you might be able to buy the shades separately, but they're more expensive. Peachy one is vintage. E135. And start putting that in the crease. I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics. Um, I think it's the 101 brush, it's rubbed off, but it's in their Essential Eyes Kit, and I'm just gonna go back into that same vintage shade and blend it, just because this is my favorite blending brush. I feel like that little blender is going to be great for the actual crease, not just the transition shade. Ooh, 
this definitely piled it on a lot easier. Uh, so the shadow is actually more pigmented than I thought it was. I think it was just the brush was so small. Something about this blender just like it blends so well and packs on color at the same time. Let's go with this guy. This one right here, which is Element. Just gonna take that same shade on the lower lash line, gonna pop it right out here. Just the outer corner, because I think I might wanna do a purple under eye. And then I think I'm gonna put that deeper shade, this warm brown, cashmere. I really like the size of this little brush. Again, this is the E139. It comes in whatever this face, face, <laughs> face set is. And I'm just focusing this out here. It might not be dark enough for what I'm thinking, so I might have to reach into that Amuse palette. And we're just gonna tap into that black. Ooh! Definitely tap that off. And pop out here. There we go. We're getting a little bit more. So tell me what's going on in your lives, guys. I feel like, I mean, I don't share that much, but I do share more than I ever thought I would on YouTube. So I want to know. Tell me some stuff and things. I've heard a lot of people have been doing a lot of really big life changes lately. So I'd love to hear if you guys have also had any sort of big life change. I think we're gonna have to lay down some concealer for those super duochrome shades to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this white concealer. I've been trying to do that trick where you put it like right there on your lash line and look up and then it is supposed to give you your stamp of where you're supposed to put it but it doesn't seem to want to do that right now. I think I'm gonna use both of those dual chromy shades. I think I'm gonna use the purple one towards the inside and this kind of blue brown shift one towards the outside. Yeah, I'm gonna use my fingertip. So pretty. These definitely seem kind of like pressed pigments where if you dig in, they kind of chunk up. Here we go. Oh, it's going all over my face, cool. I really like that blue-brown one. It feels like super creamy. The purple one's a little more dry, so I'm not getting as quick of pigmentation off of it. I think I wanna use a little bit of that purple on my lower lash line. These aren't the most pigmented in the world. They are kind of hit or miss in this palette, but definitely not bad at all for the price. All right, so we're gonna use the AOA Wonder Liner. Oh, and I have kitten hairs all over me. Hmm, actually, not bad, look at that. Okay, we're on to mascara. Okay, I have these two. They're both the Fat Lash Mascara. One is a primer, one is an actual mascara. So I'm gonna go with the primer first and pop the mascara on. Might honestly just put the primer on the bottom lashes because I'm gonna wear false lashes. This is what the brush looks like. I'm actually really impressed with the mascara. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's giving me a really kind of natural but fluffy and long look. So it's not really voluminous, but they do look pretty fluffy. I'm gonna put on the Alexis ones again. I've really, really been liking these. My favorite thing to buy from Shamase are lashes because I love them so much. These honestly probably are my new favorite for like a daily lash or dramatic. My under eyes look pretty terrible. Okay, let's move on to lips. <laughs> okay, so I have a Wonder Lip Liner in Faded. I'm gonna use the matching lipstick. So I'm pretty excited again. Each of these are only a buck. I really like this color. I'm hoping this is good. Definitely it looks more brown on than it does in the tube. It looks a little more like dusty, taupey rose, and then it just kind of looks super taupey. I think I want to add a little bit of hype, which is kind of a pinky shade, rosy.
I put the tiniest bit of concealer on my lips and blended it out. Kind of made it look a little crazy. So I don't know if that was the right choice, but we are going to use one of the diamond lip glosses. This is in Cosmic. Pinky, but it's got kind of an iridescent teal and purple and pink glitters and shift. So let's see. All right, so let's break down these products and I'll tell you which ones I think are worth it. First of all, the brushes are amazing. This highlighter brush is my absolute favorite. Another win for sure is the Beauty Sponge, no surprise on this, again, $1.55. Really, really like this. Lip gloss is really nice. Again, this is Cosmic. I do have a whole bunch, so I'm hoping to do a swatch video of the diamond lip glosses. The liquid lipsticks are not bad at all. The concealers, I would skip if your skin is like mine. I have pretty dry skin. I should have really hydrated my under eyes before going in, but they're just not sitting pretty under my eyes at all. I do love, love, love the finish of the BB cream. It just oxidized really bad on me. So I think that if you have deeper skin than I do, or you're willing to mix it, I'm gonna try mixing it in with foundations that are a little too light for me to try and get a little more coverage, but I just loved the glowy finish. I think that this is worth trying if you think that the color might work for you, or as a mixer, if you really like a dewy look, I would get this to mix in with another foundation. Uh, the mascara, I'm excited to try more of. The primer wasn't bad at all. Again, it's more of a natural look, but it does lengthen and make them look pretty fluffy. So I think these are definitely a win. I absolutely love this highlighter, the Blissful one. Liquid Glow Baby highlighters in this little set. These are really pretty. I really think that these are worth checking out. Again, this was like $5.55 and this also donates to the Papa charity, which is wonderful. They're really tiny, but you honestly need just like a tiny drop on each cheek, as I'm sure you guys saw. Um, this powder, I'm kind of going all over the place. I'm sorry. This powder was not bad at all for contouring. The eyeshadow palette, honestly, um, someone did tell me that you could buy the shades separately. So I think that there's a couple in here that would be worth buying separately. I feel like the really warm browns were really nice. And this center shade right here was really nice. My liquid liner ran away. So I do, I was pleasantly surprised by the liquid liner. I like how sharp my wing is. Um, not bad at all. The brow pencil wasn't bad for a dollar, not at all. It's just a little bit big and a little bit dark. Same with the, the brow gel is pretty dark. I really like the formula. I feel like this is something that I'd want to put in my brows first and then just kind of like line where I need to instead of using both of them because I think the combination was a little too much on my brow. Like my brows look darker than I want them to. But maybe with a lighter shade, maybe the clear one. I do want to try the clear one really bad, but now I have a ton of this taupe one because I accidentally bought two. <laughs> I think I covered everything. I hope that made sense. <sighs> Let me know what your favorite products are that you've tried from Shop Miss A. But overall, not bad at all. Not bad at all. And that highlight, I do like the blush. It's really pretty. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please let me know what you think down below. Let me know your favorite products from Shop Miss A. And if you want another one of these videos soon, um, I think that is everything. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I need like eight coffees today. I know that's nothing new. Oh, got myself in the eye with the sponge. What you doing? Come here. You're going to unplug my microphone again. Mess up my microphone. Tiny. I do. Why you do this? Filming takes so much longer with her because every like 10 minutes she's like, I need a snuggle. I need a snuggle. You gonna help? I don't think that's gonna be any help. For a highlight brow bone, because that one's very, very yellow. Highlight brow bone, brow bone highlight. You guys know what I'm saying? that little blender. I feel like that little blender is gonna be. Oh, that highlight though. That highlight though. I'm not focus. Why is it focusing on a flower? <laughs> Everything falls off this table. I feel like this table is slanted. I left it down to my anchor. Sorry, I'm holding Luna, literally her butt, with one of my hands. So I only have one hand <laughs> to work with because she's sliding off my lap, but she's just napping and having grand old time. I definitely think these were, these are, the brow gel is pretty, it's, what? The I, what am I saying?